just being locked into the to the scenario to the situation that we're in and uh, going through the same routine that we go through uh, whether if we're in uh, you know at Novacare. Um, so that was that was the big part of it was just talking about the distractions that that are um, that are here that can be here um, how it's a little bit different and how we just need to go about our business like we have been uh, for the past 20 weeks. Yeah, well, I, you don't look at it that way. Um, you, you work hard to connect every every day, um, regardless of the scenario. And we, and we look at this as an opportunity to to play for each other again, um, to not you know to get better this week and to play for each other. And um, you know we're, we're just in the habit of connecting the whole time too. I mean, these guys are out, out here doing you know different things to connect with each other, going out to eat, playing ping pong in there, shooting hoops in there. So um, they're doing that because that's just what we've done for the past twenty weeks. You know, we started we started really slow our first year in in Indianapolis too. I think we started uh, one and five that year, um, and I just remember uh, Frank talking about doubling down in the on the things that you know are important. And uh, you know, I, and he may have said it a little bit differently, but I, that's kind of how I said it. You know, when we when we went to when we started off two and five, we talked about doubling down on um, you know connecting, doubling down on uh, competing, uh, accountability, football IQ, fundamentals, and just continue to continue to grow even though the outside world might not see that we're growing we knew we were um and so and it's not like when we when you say doubling down too it's like it's not we weren't saying anything crazy it was like hey the best teams uh, connect with each other right the best teams compete their butts off and so it was just getting the things that we already knew were true were just doubling down knowing we had a good process um you know that we liked our process. We knew what we, we that we had a good process, but we could tweak some things with schedules. We could tweak some things with, um, you know, the systems that we were running. And so, you know, that was the main message: is 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 doubling on doubling down on the things that we knew were important, and and just uh, keep going to work. And and I think another big thing was just, uh, you know, not looking at hey, I'm t we're two and five right now, and we got to climb the, the that mountain right now, like. You didn't have to, right? Because if you look at it like that, it can be overwhelming. If you look at it I'm like we're in this hole and we got to climb up and do it, you didn't have to do that. You just had to go one day at a time, and one game at a time. And that was the that was the thought process. That was what we did, and uh, you know it's carried us into into this week too, where we're just, hey, what's different? Nothing. One day at a time. One one walkthrough at a time. One meeting at a time. Everything, etc. Yeah, I think that's just who he is. Regardless of his age, it, it, that's just who he is as a competitor, as a player. I guess it's rare in the fact. I think. I, I mean, I see it every day. You know, I mean, I witness it every day of him. Um, you know, just not being caught up in any moment, and you know, and that that speaks to who he is, how he was raised, and that you know, he just he's steady, um, and so it's impressive to see. Um, but that's what I'm accustomed to now with 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 Jalen, um, and he's the same guy every day. I think they've been uh, just helping each other this year get better. You know, um, I don't, I, won't, I don't want to say they, like they're happy for each other when they make plays. Um, you know, there's that 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 little bubble that we threw in the in the Giants game that AJ, you know, that AJ uh, leads the way for a touchdown, and then they're celebrating with each other, and they know that they help each other, right? That if you if you try to take AJ away, Devontae's going to have a big game, and vice versa. And so I don't want to say they're, I mean. Maybe they're, maybe they're playing ping pong or doing stuff like that where I don't see them. Uh, but I, I do see them just trying to help each other out and, and really being happy for each other's success. I know it started off a little, a little different against um, uh, Detroit where A.J. had the huge game and Devontae didn't have any catches in that game. Um, but they just kept going back to work. We knew we'd need both of them to, to be in this moment right now. And uh, – they're they're truly sharpening each other. Their iron iron is sharpening iron. There, they're 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 sharpening each other, um, helping each other get better. And because they are the players that they are, you know, they you know it's hard for defenses to try to to key and take away one guy. 
yeah, you know, it's still we're still working through that. We don't have to make a decision now. And you knew that when you asked that question, I was going to answer you the last like I did the last 18 weeks in Philadelphia. So we're still working through. We're still working through that. We'll see how practice goes tomorrow. Um, he looked good last week, and so we'll we'll just keep monitoring it. Well, again, it's it's always about trying to stick to your routine. Um, you know, they, or go to go to basketball, right? When when we're always taught as you know, sometimes I always talk. I'll talk about basketball sometimes because I felt like I was a decent basketball player. But you try to you correlate that what we're taught as young players in basketball that okay, you're in an empty gym by yourself, and if you're if you dribble three times and you take a breath, boom, you shoot it, right? Well, that's the same thing you do when the crowd's yelling and the people are in the background doing the thing and they're waving the the sticks or whatever they're doing, and they're they're yelling in the gym. You take three you take three dribbles, you breathe, and then you go. So what you're trying to do as much as you possibly can is stay in the routines that you've that you've done all year to understand. So when you're in that moment, it, it's the moment's not too big. You're you're just going through the process. Like all all we're trying to do here is to eliminate the distractions. And one way to do that, again, there's going to be free time, and we have free time uh, throughout the, you know, in the week too. Um, when we're even when we're in Philadelphia, you're just trying to eliminate distractions, and you try to do that by just going through by going through your process. Listen, my family's coming in today, but I don't usually see them on on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. I see them Thursdays, and I'll be, you know, I'll do my best to be a really good dad on Thursday, but Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I normally do, and we're gonna be in the office late. Um, continuing to work through the plan, continuing to iron out the details of the plan. And so, you know, our coaches are leading by example, and I know our captains on our team and our leaders on our team are, are doing the same. You know, um, last year when I, when I was a first-year head coach, I've said this uh, before plenty of times, is that – I was unlike a lot of other uh, first-year head coaches in the sense that I had four guys, the guys you just ma named, that were 10-year veterans in the NFL um, and, and that have been to the top of the mountain. And so um, to have those guys on, on your team – Right, leading the way at the at, at, to my, you know quarterback and and the lines are you know the offense and defense lines are are where you, you win football games. To have those guys on the offense and defense line um, was really important for us as a football team to get through that two and five start, to get through uh, the downs of the season, and then also to get through the ups of the season because we got good leaders, we got good men on this football team, um, and those guys are are phenomenal leaders. You know they. You know, they lead the way not only in the, the standard of how to practice, how to meet, how to be a pro, how to take care of your body. Like, th this is unbelievable for a guy, you know, to have Jason Kelsey for Cam Jurgens. That, that's such a, a important thing for, for Cam and his development. And it's the same thing for, um, you know, Jordan Davis with the Fletcher Cox. But got good leaders, got good captains on this team leading the way. There were some interesting questions. Uh, no, but you know what? Uh, I, I think that it, it's it's cool for our guys to go see that. And um, again, just as long as not they're not being being distracted by it. And you know, but it, it's cool for them to go out and, and see that. I thought there was a lot of a lot of interesting things, a lot of cool things uh, that we were able to to be a part of. And um, you know, you, you do what you need to do, and then you then you move on and uh, go about your business and your routine. Yeah, I mean, it was again. Um, you know, he was he was very he was very good to me in the sense that he brought me in to talk to me. You know, he didn't have to do that. He didn't have to bring me in uh, to talk to me to let me go, right? Um, but he did because that's the type of. It seems like that's the type of person he is, and that's the type of coach he is. And and I was and I was uh, grateful for that, even though you, you don't you don't like it at the time, right? You don't like the fact that you're getting let go and and everything like that, but. You know, he also, but when he did that and, and really spent time, a little bit of time with me, and it wasn't long, but it was just, a, it was enough. It was a little bit of time. 
um, to, you know, kind of tell me what he's heard about me and, and good luck to me and I just can't, uh, you know, why he couldn't keep me because he had a, you know, David Cully was, was there. He was, ended up being a head coach and who's a great receiver coach. And um, so it was just good. It was, you know, I was down in that moment. He gave me strength when I was down, you know, tried to pick me up when I was down. And I think that's a, that says a lot about his character and uh, who he is. And so I was appreciative of that. And then, you know, unfortunately, I had to do that, um, you know, when I became a head coach, right? Um, and, and so, even though I never worked with him, I only, I only had that 10-minute meeting with him. He, you know, you, you learn from everybody, right? You, you, you have an opportunity to, if, you're, if your eyes are open, to learn from everybody that you see and everybody that you come in contact with. And I used a little bit of what he, you know, how he did with me um, when, I, when I had to do the tough part of my job of letting guys go. All right, if you're just joining us here on CBS Sports HQ, that is the Eagles head coach Nick Sirianni addressing the media as the Eagles are trying to get their second Super Bowl title in franchise history, getting a look at the matchup for Super Bowl 57 head-to-head. -head. You got the Chiefs looking for their third Super Bowl win, and then Andy Reid, who coached for the Eagles for 14 years, currently 3-0 against the Eagles in his career as the Chiefs head coach. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.